Did you ever hear about the boy who ate and ate and ate? He ate early in the morning and he ate when it was late. But he didn't thank Allah for all the yummy food he had. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to What's in My Lunchbox with Shaz Eats, the show that gives you daily ideas on how to pack a healthy lunchbox. Your child spends a third of their time eating at school, and so it's extremely important that you have good food in their lunch boxes that absolutely nourishes them and builds them up. So, I'm going to make a coconut yogurt. You can actually make this coconut yogurt using fresh coconut pulp, but I'm taking a little bit of an easier way out by using coconut cream. I'm only doing like one cup, so I'm using the small coconut cream, and you can get it at most supermarkets. Um, you need the cream, not the milk, actually, for this recipe. Very, very simple. I was always very worried about how to make yogurts at home, and once I actually started to make my own yogurts, I haven't stopped making them. And you know exactly what you're putting in, and there's so much controversy and things on dairy that low fat has so much sugar in it. If you make your own yogurt, you know what goes in it and you know if it's good for your child or not. So, the coconut cream, all I do is open it up and put it into my pot. And what you do is just wait until it comes to a, gen a, a light simmer. So it starts bubbling around. When your coconut milk comes to a gentle simmer, and what I mean by a gentle simmer is when you start to see little bubbles around the edge of the pan. So I'm starting to see some bubbles around. I'm just going to take it a little bit further. Now, you've got to be a little bit patient. You just need to let it cool down that it comes back to a temperature in which you can dip your finger in without it feeling very hot. So until you can do that, you just let it cool down. The best way to check if the temperature has gone down is by dipping your finger in and it feels that it is warm but your finger can go in and this, that's a perfect temperature. I've got now a yogurt culture and now I've been making yogurt for a while so my yogurt culture has been reduced from the original ready-made culture and the amount of times I've made it, it's now become my own culture. So once you make your base yogurt, you can use that same culture in remaking the different yogurt. So I've got a couple of tablespoons of my culture and I'm gonna add it in to my coconut cream and mix it through. I've got a mason jar over here. I've, all I've done is put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and what that does is it sterilizes the mason jar. So there's no other bacteria inside the jar. And all I'm going to do is pour in my coconut yogurt into the mason jar. Take your lid and make sure you, you close it tightly. And then you have like a basin or a bowl Put some tea towels into it, a couple of layers of tea towels into it and place your jar inside. Cover it up with another towel. And you just let it sit in a warm part of your kitchen for the day. You let the yogurt sit in a warm part of your kitchen overnight. In the morning, all you do is put it into the fridge and you let it chill. So the whole process takes around 24 to 36 hours to make, but you have a homemade yogurt and you can use that yogurt as your culture for the next time you make a fresh yogurt. I've prepared a yogurt beforehand and this has been sitting in the fridge for a couple of days now. And I'm going to add it to my yum box six a four compartment lunchbox and you can see that there's a wobble and it's like a proper yogurt just see the consistency and it's actually very rewarding and i feel quite chuffed when i see a homemade yogurt that i actually made this from scratch i'm going to pour it into the middle compartment of the lunchbox a little bit more and I'm going to top off the yogurt 
with some muesli. In the lunchbox today, I've got a bagel with cream cheese, sliced egg and some cucumbers. I've got some fresh cherries. I've got a coleslaw carrot slaw salad and I've tossed some raisins into it, a bit of vinegar and a little bit of honey. And I've got my homemade, the star of the lunchbox today is a homemade coconut yogurt topped with some strawberries and uh, with, with some muesli. And most importantly, a bottle of water with slices of orange. This should really keep your children very, very full. Everything in here is nutritious. Um, the muesli is not homemade, but you can actually make muesli, but this one's a pretty good one. The sugar levels are quite low. Um, your children should be feeling quite full and um, I think it's enticing enough. It's bright and colorful too, and it has a bit of flavor, texture, and, and is packed with lots of different tastes as well. What's in my lunchbox every day with Shaz Eats on ITV? Did you ever hear about the boy who ate and ate and ate? He ate early in the morning and he ate when it was late. But he didn't thank Allah for all the yummy food he had. And he ate so much it made him sick, which really made him sad. He ate dates in Damascus, which he thought were very nice. Had some moussas in Sumatra, seasoned with a special spice. He ate tacos in Tijuana with some sauce he got from Spain. And a bowl of fresh baklava that he parted in Bahrain. He said gyros made in Cairo are a taste that can't be beat. And the lemonade in Yemen made a very special treat.